Back up never left, SB here with the live reaction to Doom Breaker. This week reading chapters 49 and 51, so you know the vibes. The cliffhanger of last chapter was while our boy Ned was patrolling the area, he got jumped by that girl Ophelia, who's trying to see if he's worthy of being with our boy Big Z. So let's get into it. Doom Breaker chapter 49, let's get it. Oh shit, so we cut away from where we were at last chapter to near the temple of the third parish. We see these kind of like demon dogs sniffing out there. I found another one. There are traces of Olden's demon transformation, as well as marks from the burnt, uh, marks of something burnt by lightning. These are, these are proof that someone used a Dragon King style martial art. Mm. One of Jin Ryang's disciples was definitely here. And we see the old by one of the one of the new apostles who we met a couple times ago pulls up with his like kind of ghoul dogs, bro. Skeleton dogs and shit. Where I found the last remains of the Silver Knight, there were traces of a battle between at least three people. And some of the attacks involved divine energy. Mm -hmm. And besides. He walks up to the carriage. He's, hmm. He pick, he, the master's ass, yeah, it's kind of, it's, it's shitty, bro. The plague doctor mask, kinda, it's kind of whack. He, he sees some kind of substance on like the carriage, a uh, carriage like door or whatever. He whip, wipes it up, gives it a little, a little lick and goes, I found one of Persephone's deadly poisons. This shouldn't be here. Mm. Oh, so he found the poison that Z, that Big Z used to kind of like you know sedate or like you know trap old Olwen. They shouldn't be here. So Jin Ryang, the Holy One, and the Tarantula who joined the Tartar's worshippers three years ago have teamed up. They took out Olden on purpose. How could they do something so foolish at a time when the future of our order is at stake? Oh, okay. So he's thinking that it's somebody else, but obviously it's our boy Big Z. The temple of the third parish isn't letting anyone in or out, and they're using a barrier that blocks detection skills to hide what's going on inside. Plus, all the carrier pigeons sent by agents near the temple are getting confused and gathering in the wrong place because the, co the coordinates are off. Oh. Yeah, exactly. You've seen that, right? He licked the poison and he's good and he's just, you know, valid. So, you know, it could be a thing where it's the, it's the, the dose. He needs a, an, a, enough of a dose to be poisoned fully. But he's definitely strong enough to withstand the, even a little bit, you know? So, we can't we can't sleep on this guy. Opinion trained to deliver buses are continent and Aslan. Okay, cool. It's as if they're hiding something, valu something very valuable in the temple. Mm -hmm. And he thinks it's the dragon heart. There might be two or three people at most in the entire continent who are capable of planting the dragon heart in someone. One of them is our master and head of a Tartarus worshippers, that brother. What if the Holy One had his group and his group managed to get their hands on the, on one of the other two? Could they have planted the dragon heart in someone and are trying to buy some time until the power stabilizes. Mm -hmm. That makes perfect sense. If they could get their hands on that kind of power, they wouldn't care about some in investors or people from the central parish complaining about them shutting down the temple. If word got out about their plan, more people would get in their way and become a nuisance. I hate how well they thought this out, and he's looking tight, boy. The biggest question is, who got the dragon heart, Jin Rang or the Holy One? 
and we see a, a sick panel of our boy Lucius and uh, Ned's old master and the, the dragon heart in between them. It was gorgeous. At least if it was if it was Jin Rang. It's possible he took advantage of the Holy One out of greed. But if the Holy One got the Dragon Heart, it's possible that Jin Ryang betrayed the worshippers. Yeah, I like his design a lot too. It's really, really good. I better get moving. His hair, his his cape flows in the wind. I've already it's already been several days since the battle with Olden. I need to find some concrete evidence before the dragon heart transplant is complete. He goes, huh? Oh shit. And as he sees that, he's talking to himself, he sees somebody in the distance. He goes, huh? Somebody in the cloak. Oh shit. So this person in the cloak got the red glowing eyes. I'm not sure who this is, bro. Oh. He goes, that bird mask. Could it be the second in command? And we see that person dips off when he sees them. It's just a hunch, but I have a feeling that person has something to do with all this. I can't let them get away. And he lets out some smoke out of his pipe. Get them. And you see these two ghost dogs are dashing towards the guy who left. Oh, shit. Damn, so they chomp, ah, they chomp down on the guy who tried to escape. Yes, we caught them. Oh, shit. Is this Ned? Is this Ned? We see the red lightning and <laughs> lightning palm, zap. Is that what I think it is? It's Jin Ryang's Dragon King style martial art. I'm glad I ran into you here, disciple of Jin Rang. He blazes. Oh, the pipe turned into a whip, bro. That's kind of sick. I had some thing. I had some things to see with people with you people. Could you be so good and cooperate? Psych, bro. What a nuisance, bro. He's fighting the girl. Oh yeah, true, 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 true. Yeah. Ned is way so who the fuck has the dra Dragon King again? Is this the Shadow Disciple? Because you're right, Ned should be fighting Ophelia right now, right? Unless this happened before he got to Ophelia and we're like doubling back, I don't know. We'll see. What a nuisance! The doom. Cling, 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 cling. And then we see. Whoosh. Ophelia going crazy. And we see our boy Ned. Is it just me? Or does this test seem a bit unfair? We already passed three sword strikes a while ago. Or am I not allowed to join the dragon raid? Because I'm only because I'm only as strong as you. Oh. Interesting. And we see, bing, 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 more slashes, more clashes from them. Yo, Ophelia points his sword at him. Yeah, he does, I was gonna say. He does have three, so it, it might be the shadow disciple, you know? The one who be hiding in the, in the shadows, right? So it's possible. Cling. Blade of Mirage, a mysterious dagger with a magic blade. The length and shape of the blade can differ depending on the user. So we see Ned makes the, the blade of the dagger like shift into an S shape and kind of lock into her like hilt. Whoosh. Cling. And he disarms her. Her sword goes flying. She turns around, poof, kicks him. He dodges, no problem. Boy, Big Ned. Whoosh. Again, with another kick, Ned dodges. 
boom, a giant fucking explosion, bro. Sheesh. It does settles. She stands there, and oh my god. <laughs> that boy Ned just behind her. Very impressive. Very impressive. That would have that would have that would have really hurt if you could hit me if you hit me instead of my clone. Crow's cloak. Clones the users wear clones the wearer using mana and teleports them to a nearby spot. Yep. How the hell? I heard the rumors about you. I know how powerful you are. And you have you haven't even revealed your full extent of your abilities yet, have you? Well, I also have a card still hidden up my sleeve. If we both if we both show our full hand, it won't end well. How about we just stop for now? A hidden card, huh? I assume. I assume you're referring to the Dragon King style. What? So how does she know about that? You're referring to the Dragon King style martial art. Exactly. How does she know? Do you know what part of my body has the highest stats? My eyes. Cloaking and barrier skills don't work, don't work at all around me. Whoa. That's why I was assigned on a certain mission until recently. Step, step, step. I finally lost her. No wonder my master was always wary of the second in command. She's a tough opponent. On another note, things are going pretty wonderfully. By the time I got rid of the princess guards, the raid was over. And I have proof that one of our brothers who went on the raid betrayed the master. Bro, she is the fucking shadow disciple, bruh. Plus, I just found that Sly Fox, the second in command, sneaking around the area when it all where it all happened. Russell. Jin Ryang's a secret disciple. One of the twelve apostles, a master of camouflage, also known as the smiling woman. My job was to prevent her from taking part in the operation to steal the dragon heart. Oh my god, this is OD, bro. From your breathing and stepping techniques, your ability to read your opponent's next move, you and her both share the characteristics of those who study the same martial art. Fighting you just now only confirmed that. Wait, so Ophelia knows this person, but it's not Ophelia. Lord Zephyr has has some similarities to her as well, but the princess already assured to me that he's not a threat. And most importantly, whoosh, oh shit! And we see Ogo in the in the under the moonlight, bruh, the shadow disciple. Most importantly, now, where should I begin? The Shadow Disciples us whoa. The Shadow Disciple, the smiling woman, looks like you. It's almost like your siblings from the same bloodline. Are you really on our side? What's she talking about? Did Ned had a sister, right? Ned had a sister, right? Oh my God. It's fucking Ned's sister, bro. 
and bro and that and then me thinking it's Ned because like she reminded me of him Loki the red eyes and it being the sister bro 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 that's so crazy bro oh my god all right let's keep going here bro that's too crazy, bruh. Like. Oh my goodness, man. Before leaving the third parish. <coughs> yeah. So. Do you feel better now, Ned? Son of my friend, Leonard. Ugh. I'm sorry about what happened, but I was a mere priest myself. I was just following the temple's orders. I didn't mean to harm your family, believe me. You of all people shouldn't do this to me. If anything, you should be thanking me. I felt bad seeing you, seeing you orphan like that. So I sent you to Jin Ryang. I sent Jin Ryang to you. I also paid him to raise you. Thanks to both of those things, you've become, the, you've become so powerful now. You spent the rest of your childhood learning martial arts in a cave without a care in the world. How could you possibly understand how terrible things were back then? Most of the kids of bankrupt families either starved to death or were sold into slavery. Some of them even devoured by vagrants. I made you what you are. I saved your life before you ended up in hell like the rest of them. Ah! And yo, Olin's telling this man, Ned, this is crazy, bro. Well... Zephyr already had mentioned that like nobody knows about the secret disciple even the, the, the disciple like nobody knows about them bro so that's how Zeph that's how Ned wouldn't know because it was truly a secret from everyone it's crazy bro please just let me say one thing don't trust Zephyr He's deceiving you. What? Wait, why the fuck did Olden say don't trust Zephyr, bro? I know Olden rambled like a madman. He wasn't even worth listening to. That's why I've ignored him so far. But how can this be? I'm the shadow disciple who was trained. Oh, fuck. Yup. Who was trained in case you die. Jin Ryang's. Yeah. And then he remembers. Oh, my God. Jin Ryang, shadow disciple, one of the 12 apostles, a master of camouflage, also known as the smiling woman. Yeah, Ned still thinks Big Z was the Shadow Disciple, exactly. Oh, I forgot about that fact, bro. Oh, that's gonna pull it. That's gonna fucking make things complicated, bro. That makes shit complicated, dude. Looks like you are almost similar to the same bloodline that I met. Had red hair and yellow eyes, just like you. She was a woman in her mid-twenties, my sister who I thought was dead, might still be alive? Not only that, she's the shadow disciple of the Dragon King martial art? I'm so confused. Who's lying to me? Am I making the same foolish mistake all over again? All I want is the truth, right? Oh my god, that makes shit complicated, bro. And then obviously we see. Wait, 
Hold up. We know this person is a master of camouflage, right? Is this person who, who found Big Z in the party the Shadow Disciple? Yeah, he's exactly. It's crazy. Like, he's Big Z's master technically, which is fucking wild, bro. It's so crazy, right? So, so in your region, oh, it's the Night Sonata. They play, they play that to announce the party room is closing soon. Okay. I suppose we should get going. I didn't even notice the time passing. Let's have a drink together tomorrow, Lord Zephyr. Yes, certainly. Who the fuck is this person, bro? And Zephyr walks off. <laughs> He's quite something. I've met a lot of people in my time as a merchant, but I haven't encountered something, someone so unusual in ages. He isn't just strong. His actions are also fierce and cunning. Even after I gained the lead in our conversation, he somehow managed to make me give away important uh, information several times without even realizing it. He looks like he's in, he's in his early 20s, and yet it's as if he's lived at least twice as long. Mm -hmm. Lucius usually doesn't have an eye for people. Where on earth did he find them? I'm crying. The old, yeah, the old man, yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's actually him, if it's actually, like, the this person is the disciple. I was thinking that when, when, when he noticed that Z was using camouflage, right? So then now, now that she noticed that and she's a master of camouflage, she should be able to notice it, right? So that's what I'm thinking in my head. But I don't know if that's, if that's actually true. I'm just kind of like spitballing here, you know? Actually, he was more, he was more likely chosen, not simply found. I imagine there's going to be a change in power dynamics quite soon. You think so, father? Remember this, Edwin. If you're not careful of people like that, they'll rob you blind. Unlike noblemen, merchants like us need to be even more cautious of people since we, we have nowhere to go if we lose our money. Hmm, is that right? Then should I report to the princess that based on your observations, I consider him to be unfit. Deputy head of Pilgrim Caravan, Edwin Pilgrim, Altair's associate. Who the heck is this nigga, bro? No, we can't let talent like that get away. We need to buy him up um, ourselves before anyone else notices him. Head of the Pilgrim Caravan, Philip Pilgrim. Okay, so my th my random theory doesn't seem like it's correct, bro. This is just this guy's just Philip, but he ha this guy is very interesting because he has a good eye for shit. Because you know, him noticing Zephyr's camouflage is very very interesting. You know, I agree. I agree. We need, we need to, we need the very best people we can find. So either we grab him for ourselves or we destroy him. Second Parish Lindell of Temp of the Temple of Light, head of the Healer of Temple Knights, Elise Brenta, Altair's associate. Okay, these motherfuckers are after that boy Big Z. The amount of times you predict things in these read-throughs, I'm gonna trust that theory. I feel you, bro. <laughs> I do be getting shit right, though, low-key. I do be getting some shit right, bro. <laughs> like, the biggest... Like, I think my biggest one so far was me guessing who the the um, no-name was in Nan Nano Machine. Like, that was a big one for me. Like, I've seen that shit from a mile away. <laughs> 
all I know is whoever I saw, heard, and experienced, experienced in my last life. So naturally, they are bound to be people I don't recognize since they died before I could do anything last time. Yep. Philip Pilgrim, the head of the Pilgrim Paravan, par Caravan, and one of the three largest merchant caravans in the continent. In the past, he made a fortune trading spice in the East. He's famous for being a patron of the debauched princess Altair. Okay. In fact, he's one of the three mentors who enabled her to play a pivotal role in deciding the fate of humanity. Even royalty are helpless unless they have people who supporting them. It will be difficult for you to realize your vision as long as the head of a Taurus worshiper stands in your way, princess. I suggest that you make it seem as though you're simply enjoying a lavish life while building up your power in secret. I will provide you with the funds to do so. Yeah, I called no name mad times. I was like, bro, I was like, nigga, this, I was like, bro, I've seen this shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he was high on the Tartarus worshippers watch list. So far, so far as I know, when Ned ran away with the dragon heart, the shadow disciple known as a smiling woman killed Philip. Mm -hmm. Philip's son, Edwin, took, took good care of Altair as well. But if Philip continues to live, it would drastically reduce the number of deaths in the desert operation. This means more work for me to do. First, make sure that Philip stays alive. Second, stop the mysterious smiling woman who could jump out at us from anywhere. This is going to be tricky the smiling woman can disguise herself as anyone she wants. I've never revealed her true appearance, even, oh shit. She never revealed her true appearance, even to me. So I have no idea what the damn woman truly looks like. He bites his teeth. Anyway, Ned is probably back by now. Oh, shit. And then we see as Zephyr gets in the room, we see Ned sitting in the chair, dagger in hand, bro, just waiting for Zephyr to come in, just waiting. Bro, you're back. Jump. Oh, shit. That's crazy. So... Zephyr instantly jumps back, bro. He's like, whoa, what the fuck? Why did I flinch just now? Why am I scared? But like, was I scared? Like, I'm way stronger. Oh, that's right. Back in the cave. He used to beat me. Oh, back in the cave. He used to beat me every time he had that look in his eyes. Oh, shit. It's now it's become a damn a damn reflex. I tried to be I tried to be so careful not to act out of the ordinary. Is something wrong? Ophelia caught me while I was looking around the mansion. She told me she met someone who looks just like my sister. You have a sister? This is news to me. Oh, wait. He did say, aside from his father, his whole family died when he was little. So Zephyr also doesn't know that she is the sister. Can you believe it? I thought my sister drowned in a boat accident 13 years ago, but she's alive. And that's not all. <gasps> It turns out, mm -hmm. it turns out she's the shadow disciple 
of the Dragon King martial art, martial art that Ophelia was trying to stop. And he goes, what? And as this is happening, a million thoughts pop into Zephyr's head. He goes, wait, the Shadow Disciple is Ned's sister? He must be mistaken. I thought the, sh the smiling woman's name was, wait, is he just sounding me out? Or maybe Altair is using him to test me? No, I doubt it. She wouldn't go that far. I knew I couldn't hide the fact that I'm not the Shadow Disciple forever, but Ned's sister? This, that's, this is so unexpected. Tell me who taught you that technique. I don't remember much of the past. I was, um, I was in an accident. So she was in an accident, bro. Are we sure it's her? It's it's his sister though. How do we know that we'll, that's not a fake face? I guess that's true. Yeah. But we see her in the past right here, and she, again, she looks like Ned, bro. Red hair, yellow eyes. Like they look like Ned. My adoptive parents found me on the shore and took me in, and my master noticed that I have a warrior's bone structure. If my brother is like me, then he probably has the same bone structure. So maybe I'll see him again, again someday. I want to recover my lost memories and my lost parent, my lost family. It's strange we're enemies. So why are you telling me all this? Holy shit. And Zephyr is fucking putting it together right now in real time. No way. Why didn't I realize this sooner? Jin Ryang himself told me that the warrior's bone structure is extremely rare and it's hereditary. If one sibling is born with it, the other is likely to have it too. This means Jin Ryang worked with Olden to worked. Oh my God. This means Jin Ryang worked with Olden to destroy Ned's family from the start just so he could have someone with the warrior's bone structure. Then he cast them aside when he decided they weren't useful to him anymore. Jin Ryang, that son of a bitch. I don't get it. I don't see any reason why Ophelia would deceive me, but it also wouldn't make sense if everything you said was a lie, Zephyr. My father trusted Olden, and I trusted my master. Both of our lives were either ruined or almost ruined because we trusted the wrong people. That's why I was afraid to trust anyone again. And yet, and then he sees like Zephyr earning his trust, all that. Oh, this is so fucked, man. And we see a bunch of panels with them together, bro. Oh. You seem different somehow. We've been through so much life or death situations together. I love this, dude. I love, I love these pa these panels of like the Zephyrs and Ned's time together over the past like 10, 15 chapters, bro. So good. When he stabbed old and when when Lucius fought the gold dude, Zephyr winning with the dragon heart, all this, it was camaraderie. All three of them with Lucius. I believe I wanted to believe it was camaraderie I felt. I wanted to believe in you. Clang swords drops. I just need one small clue, one tiny bit of proof that I can trust you. Mm. Damn, bro. Zephyr, tell Ned everything, bro. Tell him, bro. Ned's our boy. <laughs> He's our boy, man. Zephyr looks at him. Originally, I was supposed to meet you about three months ago, three months from now. And he begins to sell him. Originally, I was supposed to meet you about three months from now. 
And he goes, what? After stealing the dragon heart and seeing the silver knight, you realized the truth and ran the way and ran away. You tried to escape, not from the worshippers, but from the whole world. And then you ended up in the Canyon of Oblivion, one of the eight hardest quests in the world, where you were seriously injured by the son of your master, Jin Ryang, and left there to die. That's also when you lost the dragon heart. I was simply one of the slaves of the temple looking for you. I came across you in, in the cave at the bottom of a cliff and fell off, and that I fell off and learned the Dragon King style martial art from you there. Because there was no way we could have made it out of the Canyon of Oblivion with one of us injured and the other one an inexperienced fighter. What? This man, this piece of, that's like, what are you talking about, bro? After getting much more powerful with your help, I reached the very apex of humanity, but I couldn't stop the end of the world and didn't manage to save anyone else in the end. So Zephyr is spilling the entire beans, all the story, everything, how he was, how Ned taught him, how he became the strongest human, how he fought Tartarus, Tartarus beat him up, and then he's going to say how he was sent back. Who am I? I am the last human. A he who am I? I am the last human. A hero, a failure. Someone who returned to the past with the memories of the next 10 years. I am also your only disciple. <laughs> and the chapter ends. Oh, I love it. I love it, bro. Like the fact that like it's such a good like bro. It's such a good dynamic, bro. That like Zephyr is Ned's disciple, but then like in in a sense, Ned is also Zephyr's disciple now that he's back in time with memories of the few of like the pat. Oh my god, it's so good, bro. It's so good, man. It's so good, man. In my previous life, I had a plan. Right, I'm gonna take a sip of it real quick. Take a sip. It's so good, bro. In my previous life, Ned had a plan. We we evaluated how much stronger I, his disciple, would have to get before we could escape the Canyon of Oblivion. All, all well, all well his own physical state took all things into consideration. He calculated how long I would need to train in the cave, survival and revenge against his master for betraying him. Ned's fixation with those two things is what kept him alive. However, we were forced to leave the cave earlier than expected. Mm, the Lord of the Canyon, Onder. Oh shit, and they dip off. I've always regretted that. I've always regretted what happened. If only I had been a little stronger. If only I had learned just a little more. Things might have turned out differently. Oh shit, bro. And then we see as they get attacked, Ned grabs Zephyr's leg and <laughs> hooks him across over the can over like this little a cliff or whatever ned wouldn't have given up on his long-awaited revenge and sacrifice himself for a nobody like me and we see ned doing his last stand here bro we could have both came out of there alive 
and Ned smiles back at him. Watch carefully, Zephyr. The last secret technique that I didn't manage to teach you. I shall never, I'll never be able to forget. Boom. The sight of my master's back that day. Oh my God, that shit is tough, bro. <laughs> it's so tough, man. And we see a giant spark of lightning, bro. Doom breaker. And we see Ned and Zephyr talking still through out through the morning now, bro. Through the morning, through the whole night they talked. <sighs> I don't know what to think. It just sounds so impossible, and yet it also explains so much. The fact that he's been he's been able to use the fine items without being a priest is the sort of light, and how much he knows. One step backward, three steps to the side. Everything is going just like Zephyr said it would. If he really returned to the past with perks from the gods, then it all makes sense. I know it's hard to believe, but it's all true. Although I skipped over some things that are a bit awkward to talk about, like his relationship with the smiling woman. And I'm sorry for deceiving you like when I first approached you. I didn't think I could make you believe all this in such a short time. I thought it would be better it would be better to make you suspicious of the Tartarus worshippers. I need you to help me fight the god of destruction once more. And above all, I wanted you to live. Oh, Zephyr, W character, W character, bro. <laughs> oh, ah, that's right. Revenge wasn't the only reason I decided to take action. I naturally assumed I would live out my whole life as a member of my family, then when I lost my family's noble title, the ancient duty to take care of the blood tears of blood tears and my family itself. When no one, when I was a nobody who had lost everything. If you can prove that you're useful to me, I'll help you get your revenge. My master gave me a new name and a purpose in life to make me a disciple. I became much stronger as a result. I wanted to repay my master's kindness for taking me in. So I gladly accepted all kinds of unpleasant assignments because I believe that my master had a just reason for everything he did. The relationship between a master and disciple is almost like a family, even though they share no blood. It's only natural for people to trust and help the people they they're oh, help trust and help their own family, excuse me. In a game of chess, I was a clueless pawn. I I felt bad about myself. I kind of felt bad about myself because I thought I had messed up my life, but it looks like my life had sort had some sort of meaning after all. Since I left something behind in this world, thank you for everything. Oh, and he pats him on the shoulder. Thank you for avenging me in your previous life and for helping me in this one. A hero who traveled back in time to save the world, huh? <laughs> I sure picked one hell of a disciple. <laughs> then again, I wouldn't expect any less from a disciple of mine. I won't let you carry the burden by yourself. Let's move forward together this time around. Oh, I love it, bro. I love it. <laughs> so good, man. My conversation with Ned went well, and he agreed to keep everything a secret. 
it wouldn't be good if too many people found out about this. They might start to panic if they know what happens in the future. And keeping that information to ourselves is a big advantage for us. Then Philip and his group called a meeting that morning. Allow me to officially introduce ourselves. We're Princess Altair's permanent party members. Everything was taken care of very quickly, as I'd expect Altair's as I expect from Altair's companions. The princess has very high hopes for the both of you. She's unavailable at the moment, so I hope you don't mind having a little chat just ourselves, just among ourselves. Unavailable. I wonder why. Ned says. The reason she's suddenly unavailable is probably because of the spell book. Yep. Unlike ordinary spell books, the the contents of the crystal spell books are copied directly into one's brain. The only downside are the side effects. The body goes into sleep while the spells are being fused with the brain. The higher the level of the spell book, the longer you go to sleep for. And some people experience other symptoms such as a high fever. She's probably... She probably has a healer taking care of her, but it wouldn't do much good since it's not an injury, right? Ultimate, ultimately, it just depends on how quickly Altahir absorbs the magic. Hang in there. <laughs> he smiles. I have, I had a hell of a time in the in Yuridis dungeon, so it's my time. So it's my turn to rest this time. The next few days passed in the blink of an eye. We had to prepare the necessary supplies for our blue dragon raid, as well as study the best combat techniques to suit our new item, the new items we acquired. As for party members, come here. Oh my God, this bitch. Ah. Just make it quick, she squeezes him. Hee <laughs> hee, I will. I'm weak. She gave him, she gave him the cop in a field real quick. Skill, Angel's Embrace. A skill that uses antennas on the back to carefully check a person's health and physical condition and, uh, upon it embracing them. The antennas Antenna feels similar to those of a slug, ooh, which is why more people avoid the medical skill. Fuck, ooh, goddamn feelers. <laughs> Stasis Zephyr, if you move, I'll have to start over again. Oh my, you're pretty buff. I just remember I need to go, I need to go somewhere. <laughs> Nigga, that's like I'm I'm gonna get off, bro. Hey, where do you think you're going? It's essential for party members to have a checkup before joining a raid party. We can't take anyone who's sick on the raid. True. Your turn, Ned. N no, no thanks. Stay away. Ah. Those damn antennas. <laughs> Pathetic. Ugh, Ophelia. Talk about bad timing. <laughs> the princess wants to see you. Come with me. Both of you. Okay? Think? Altier must be awake. I'm not sure where to look. Step, step. Come think of it. Your Deces Overmind is still in the magic crystal. She told me a bunch of stuff when we spoke briefly. <coughs> Door opens. Then perhaps, welcome, Zephyr and Ned. Altier already heard some things ba -boom, about me. Ba -boom. Oof. And the chapter ends, bro. Okay, what did she hear about Big Z, bro? And all to hear, she is absolutely gorgeous, bro. Out every time I see her on page, she is absolutely gorgeous. Goodness, bro. But yeah, I'm ready, man. I'm curious to see the the dragon raids coming up soon. And I'm curious to see what 
they're about to talk about Altair and, and Big Z right now, bro. So uh, it's lit. And I love, I love, love, love that Ned is now fully in the know. And he fully knows about everything with Zephyr. I love it. But if you made it to the end of the live reaction, I appreciate you. If you enjoyed, don't forget to drop a like on the video. It really helped the channel out. Also, sub to the boy because I'm bringing different live reactions weekly. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I'm going to see y'all next time. Stay safe out in these streets. And I'm going to see y'all soon. Peace.